Hello and welcome to day number 32 of our 66 days of data with NIME Livestream Challenge. And if you are somewhat good in mathematics, you know what time it is. We're nearly at the halfway mark. All right. So today we're going to talk about pie charts and I'm going to show you how we create one, how we're going to add one to the dashboard that we did or yesterday and with the stuff that we already have there, the interactive table with the colors, the tiles that we did yesterday. Once again, due to some network issues I had over the past few days, I am going to do two videos today. And this one is the first one, meaning we will have another video later today in a few hours also about bar charts. So that will be then the halfway mark, day 33. Can you imagine that we are already nearly more than a month in? But before we continue with our um, story here and with our dashboard that we're going to create, there are two things I wanted to share with you. First of all, please like and subscribe. It helps me to create more of these videos. It keeps me motivated to help you to get from zero to hero using NIME and data science tools and shine in your career. And it also helps the algorithm to suggest these videos to even more people so they can become proficient in data science topics using NIME Analytics platform as well. That's the first thing I wanted to tell you. And second, I wanted to show you what I had in the mailbox today. Do you see that? Codeless time series analysis with NIME. This is the newest book that's publicly available. It is written by Corey Wiesinger, Margaret Wittmann, and Daniele Tonini. Um, some of them are NIME members. And it is a book about working with dates, with time, with time series. Um, something we have touched already a few weeks ago when we talked about date standardization, but only roughly scratched the surface. So I am going to do an in-depth review of that book. I am um, very thankful to the uh, publisher because I got a review copy. Thank you very much for that. So I am going to talk about that book and maybe do another live stream or tutorial series with the stuff I learned. But you see, it has a few pages and it's all about using NIME and mathematics and gives you good insights into the models and how you can do it codeless, basically in NIME. So you can get some very decent insights and forecasts if you're coming from a finance background like me. So with that aside, we will be talking about this book furthermore in the upcoming videos as well. So when I start reading it, I may share one or two insights from it already during this series. But today's topic is different. Today's topic is about pie charts, right? So let's head over to the computer. And let's have a quick look at what today's task is. All right. So here we are, data exploration in 66 days of data with NIME. And we are in section number six, plots and charts, univariate analysis. So we did all of this. And just a quick info, this is probably how our dashboard at the end will be looking like. So let's just have a quick look here. That's already quite interesting, isn't it? So that's something we might want to build. And we are at day number 32. And the quest for today is display the number of tracks by artist in a pie chart. Make sure that the same color by artist is used as in the table and tile view. And those were basically the tasks we did in yesterday's videos day 30 and day 31, where we bit a table, did a, a table view with uh, colors by artists. And then we did a composite view with tiles in addition to that um, and in, use the same colors. One disclaimer here, I will not build a pie chart, full stop, because pie charts are dirty. They stink, quite honestly, and I do not understand why they chose this one. I will build a donut chart. The thing is, it's the same node in nine, so but I find them a little bit cleaner, so to say, not so not so confused. And we talked uh, a few days back about having clean charts and so on. So that's why I will go a little bit sideways, but without um, uh, having further discussions about the theory, let's just head over to NIME. And this is basically where we are. We have yesterday created our component, if we just want to look at it, and we have 
our table here. And if we select a com uh, um, um, an artist, we see his or her tile here, right? So, and it also goes down here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to have the pie charts in the bottom left corner. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we close this view. Then we go right click onto the component we have created and then component open. This opens a new tab here where we basically can adjust our component. So here we have the table view that comes out of the color manager. We have a tile view that comes out of the color manager. Color manager. And quite honestly, if we want to have the same colors in our pie slash donut chart, of course, this also somehow needs to be connected to the color manager. So quickly enter pie chart here, uh, pie um, into the node repository and we see under views JavaScript pie donut chart. So this is what we're going to add. We basically put it here. We connect it to the color manager. And then let's see, what do we want to have? I told you I basically want to have the, um, the um, a donut chart and we want to have the um, want to have the sum, the number of tracks here in this regard. And we don't want to have missing values. Um, but what we want to have, I want to have a plot a donut chart and this basically, um, describes how much of the inner space of a donut chart, which in return is kind of a ring, um, is left free. But maybe maybe we do it differently, and maybe I show you first the pie chart, and then we uh, I show you why I don't like it, and then we probably can get to the donut chart. All right. So let's give it a label. Um, most prolific artists by number of tracks. All right, and let's just uncheck this and let's see how it looks like. Let's execute and open views. And probably you see, because quite honestly, let's just turn off the numbers. Don't display, don't display the labels and you probably see what I mean. See, can you tell the difference between Mozart and Johann Sebastian Bach? You see, this is slightly bigger. And yes, if you hover over it, you might see it. But quite honestly, especially the, the tips of these slices, that's what I don't like. And that that's what from my gut feeling makes this pie chart look like all slices are equal, which they are not. So let's just turn this into a donut chart with the click of a button. We're done. That's it already. We just check donut chart. And for me, it is now much clearer how these values are distincted, right? So uh, we see the differences, but one thing we also see is, didn't we tell it to take the same colors? But if you remember yesterday's chart um, in the in the um, in the tile view and also in the table view, Queen, the best band on the world, by the way, um, was blue. Now it's green. Why is it green? Let's have a look. If you see here, if we just look at it and look at the interactive view and just go on to the second page, Queen is blue. And why are they green? Well. Let me show you. You can basically connect this um, by saying use row colors. So this is unchecked by default. So let me show you again, execute and open views. And now you see if we select queen, this, um, no, no, where is it? Where's queen? So they get added. You see, you also can interactively delete slices or add slices. So you say, I don't want this one, this one, this one, and this one. And that basically shows just the other slices. So, um, so we basically leave them out. If you have a hollow circle like this one and green now has the right color, you basically see 
that these slices disappear, all right? So you can have interactivity in these charts as well. So it's time to include this chart into our dashboard. But before we do this, we first have to give a name to the pie donut chart. And we say um, donut chart for most prolific artists. All right. And while we are in that component, only then is this little buddy here available, the layout and component editor. So if we click on that, what we want to do probably is like a 50-50 row. So we just add it by clicking on it. And then add, we add the one view that is available that is not yet used, so to say. We add it to the, to the left part here. All right. So let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the interactive view, how it looks now. Oh, that already looks pretty neat. And the interesting stuff here is, let's just select queen here. We now see queen selected here. We have the tile for queen. And you see this little marker? We now have that slice marked. So immediately we see um, what band we're talking about. And one thing we could consider here is getting rid of the legend here because we have the table here. The thing is, if we chose two, it will be probably a little bit more difficult to see or to read. All right. So let me just quickly, maybe now, yeah, or maybe we do it like this. Just a moment. I just see my logo is somewhat in the way. So let's just get rid of this for the moment. So you now see here we have the tiles. Here we have the interactive table where we can make selections. And here we have the selected slides. And these things work vice versa, right? If I select uh, Francesco, Francesco Canaro here, he is selected here. He is checked here and his tile appears here. And that's really awesome, guys. These are interactive dashboards where each element corresponds with each other. And once again, let me say that, please, once again, in an open source software, right? So you don't have to pay for doing stuff like this. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you for today. As always, you will find my workflow copy over at the NIME Hub. Just go to nime.com hub.nime.com slash kovisoft that's k-o-w-i-s-o-f-t there you'll find a folder within that space that's called public space and within that public space there is a folder called 66 days of data where you find this workflow and some others as well if you want to follow along if you want to copy what i did all right so once again if you don't want to miss out later, the video that comes out later today, make sure to follow and subscribe. Also, if you want to hear about the great new book that reached my inbox, Codeless Time Series Analysis with Naim, also make sure to follow and subscribe. We will do some interesting stuff on that one. So I see you later today and always happy Naiming. So see you later today in 66 Days of Data with Naim. Take care and bye-bye.